All right, welcome. Wow, what a lot of pretty faces I get to see. Awesome, handsome faces. So if we haven't met yet, that's me, Dr. Joe Arve. I didn't wear my bow tie today, I apologize. But I thought we would, uh, we've been talking, Diana and I have been talking about essential oils for a long time. She's usually at all our workshops. And I thought, you know what? Let's talk about something other than what's going on in the world out there. Let's keep it nice and essential oils and smell good. And, and how I use and my wife uses and our family uses essential oils. Everybody has lots of questions about them, but I may use them differently than what uh, is being taught or what you've learned. So I want to teach you how the science of how really they really work. And then Diana, then we'll talk about how to, what I'm going to say is how to get reconnected and how to protect your connection. Because that's what it's really all about. It's about your connection. So if you ever want to get a hold of me, basically you can call the office, you can go to our website, you can email us, because I am a health shepherd. My job is to teach you how to find shelter, how to feed, how to water, and then protect you from the wolves when necessary. That's what I do as your doctor. And so Young Living here, Diana Davis is here, Young Living. She'll be talking for about four or five hours. I'm only going to talk about, <laughs> about six hours. So tonight we'll have a good time, okay? And again, our company, and you'll she'll explain why, is Young Living Oils. I know there's others out there that they're all, long as they work, I don't care, right? But we just like them. We've been using them because I know their names. <laughs> I don't know all the other names. So I just, that's how I know it. But I, I really love it. We've been using it for a long time. And if you just Google Spine Geek, you'll find us. This whole website thing, social media is not going away, I guess. So again, so we're the spine geek. I'm the spine geek. So, and that's my family. Um, we've, my wife and I have been married since uh, 1989. Uh, we've have, she has successfully, we have raised four children. Uh, she is the mama bear and two awesome doggies and a kitty cat that's not in the picture. And so everything you're going to learn today, we've used to help our children and help raise them and protect them and keep them connected, and not allow them to get disconnected, which you'll, you'll learn about that in a minute. And so, I thought since the World Health Organization is such a popular uh, group lately, um, basically I just want to talk about what I do to help you, why we do essential oils, because according to the World Health uh, Organization, their definition, not mine, their definition of health is a state of complete physical, mental, and social well-being and not merely the absence of disease. So if you would like your body, your mind, your spirit, your health to be like this, raise your hand. Very good. Can you use essential oils and the products that Diane is going to talk about tonight to help achieve this? Yes. So therefore, that's I only talk about things that you can do that allow you to do this. If you're not there, then I want to give you the roadmap to get you there. And then once you get there, I want to give you the roadmap on how to stay there. Does that make sense? Because you can go off on all kinds of different tangents and people get confused about what do we do? Essential oils, vitamins, you know, blah, blah, blah. How, I just want to make it very simple for you to understand how to apply it and how to use it. Okay? So that's our goal, right? That's our goal. And again, essential oils are not new. They've been around, all right? I mean, I, everybody has a nativity scene, right? And you have the three wise men. What did the three wise men bring to baby Jesus? Gold, frankincense, and myrrh. Wow. Hey, if it's good enough for Jesus, it's good enough for me, right? Now, so it's been around forever. It's not some new, right? It's been around forever. And clean science supports it. But you have to understand how to use it. How to use all those things out there so that you can be green grass. You can be strong, okay? And so let's talk about that for a second, right? If I had a garden hose, right, and you had your grass in front of you, and I kinked the garden hose going to your grass, what would happen to your grass? It wouldn't get water and it began to die. Well, first, before it died, it would turn brown grass, right? And then if we didn't get enough water, then it would turn to the dead grass zone, right? And if I find the kink and I take the kink off the hose and we turn the water back on, then your dead grass or your brown grass will go to where? Green grass. Now raise your hand if that's the same for your yard. Look around. Look around. See, it's a universal principle. It's for everybody, right? It's for everybody. So this is not, well, this isn't for you. No, no, this is green grass, brown grass, dead grass is for how our bodies are made. 
If you really want to uncomplicate healthcare and being strong and being happy, simply just use this model here. Because my, jo my goal for my family and for you is to be at green grass health. That's where your physical, emotional, immune system is strong, right? So that physically, emotionally, spiritually, you're, you're, you're healthy. So my job, my goal for you is to be at green grass, okay? Are there things out there that you're doing in your life that could be making you brown grass? Yeah. Would you like to know? Yeah. And are there things you're doing out there making you dead grass right now? Yeah. Doesn't mean you're a bad person, but it's like, why is this happening? And so let me show you how we use essential oils to help bring you to green grass, to get you out of green grass and then protect your green grass. Does that make sense? That's, what it's, that's all we do. The body's the healer. Okay, your body's, this is you. And what the garden hose is to your grass, your spine, your nerve system, your brain is your garden hose. Okay? So your brain sits up here, it sends messages down your spinal cord, it goes out through these nerves, and it runs everything about you, okay? This is what runs you, this is what heals you. So if you can use essential oils to stimulate this, to take the kink off the hose, and help your brain make green grass, then that's why we use essential oils, right? Now what I'm not saying is if your spine is like this and you put some oils on your back, it's going to go straight. That's not what I'm saying, okay? It's much more sensitive than that really it's crazy how sensitive this really is and so everything we talk about just so you understand is to make you green grass healthy physically emotionally mentally your connection spirit is strong okay now let's talk about how once you understand that everything she says i say makes sense okay so it everybody say it's all about my brain it's all about your brain. Your brain is always at work. So what you see, smell, hear, taste, touch, feel, think, has a direct effect on your brain. And what you see, smell, hear, taste, touch, feel, and think can either have a green grass effect on you or a brown grass effect on you. It all depends on what your brain says it is and perceives. Okay? It's whatever your brain decides consciously and subconsciously, which even makes it even harder, right? And so everything can have a green grass zone effect or a brown grass zone, zone effect on you. That's why essential oils have so many different applications. Because you can see... Okay, you can you see things, you smell it, you hear, you taste it, the oils, the different products, you touch it, you feel it on your skin, right? So that's why oils can be taste, rubbed, diffused, cleaning, it, many because it invokes all your senses, it has a direct connection to your brain. You're going to learn about input and output. Whatever you, if you have a brown grass input, then you're going to get a brown grass output. If you have a green grass input, then you're going to have a green grass output. And that's really what it's all about, is teaching you how to use essential oils to have a green grass input to get a green grass output. I'll go more on that in just a minute, okay? So, fight. So, your brain tells your body to either fight and run, and that is your sympathetic nerve system. And it's normal. I mean, right now, if a bear is chasing you, your body, your brain says, run. Get out of there now. But if the bear's been chasing you for 5, 10, 20 years, that's not good. That's called stress. Okay? And has a negative effect. Rest and digest is your parasympathetic nerve system, and that's normal for health and for healing mode. So you want to live the majority of your life in your rest and digest mode. And we use essential oils to make that happen. You're not designed to live in fight and run phase. If you don't believe me, just look out there at the world right now. Is the world in fight and run or rest and digest right now? They're freaking out, right? Because they've been, the, the input, input, input has stimulated a freak out and run and be scared output. Okay? 
So we use essential oils to create, to change. Now, again, if, if my son Grant, he's not here. He was going down the stairs and he, he, he slipped and he yelled out a yell. And it just triggered me like, oh, no, my baby. I just couldn't. I mean, his parents, you're like, oh, and it, boy, I was right, ready to fight and run right then. He's like, what's going on? He's like, I'm fine. I'm fine. But my adrenaline was kicking, right? So we've all been there. That's okay. That's normal. Ten minutes later, I was in bed sleeping. No big deal. I came out of it, right? I was back to rest and digest. But some of you have been stuck there for 10, 20, 30 years. That's your environment. So we need to do something to help change that. And that's why your brain is so important. Now, <laughs> Diana told me this story, and I thought, oh, I'm going to use this. <laughs> if you are ever doubting that he sent something you can smell can have a positive impact on your brain or your life, something you can smell or taste <laughs> can have a change in your parasympathetic tone. Well, let's just think about the opposite. Does anybody vomit or throw up or get sick when they smell dog poop or look, about, look at it or even think about it? And trust me, I had all kinds of pictures I could have used. This was probably the nicest one I could use about dog poop. But my point is that if dog poop, when I smell it and look at it, can evoke a potential, that's what I'm talking about. Some of, <laughs> some of us are smelling, looking at dog poop as a lifestyle. And that's how we react to life, right? Everything's poopy out there, right? Poop happens. So if that's the negative, then the positive can happen as well. So if the smell of vomit makes you vomit, guess what? The smell of thieves or, or lavender can actually make you healthy and not have. It's, it's all connected. It's not one or the other, right? So I just thought to share. I just couldn't wait. When she told me that, I'm like, oh, I'm going to use that. The only reason why I'm doing this talk today is so I could use that slide, basically. Okay? <laughs> and again, check this out. This is your nerve system, right? This is your brain up here, your hose, your spinal cord. Look what all those things are connected to. So how can you smell something and have an effect on your uterus or your testosterone or your heart? How do, it doesn't, it doesn't, you don't say, well, this is good for your lungs. Good for, no, it's not good for your lungs and asthma, but when your brain smells it, it has a peaceful rest and digest effect on the lungs. Why? Because this is your nerve system. This is how it's all wired. Your brain runs all of this. Yeah, you may put it on your chest, but the effect is to the brain. The brain has a green grass effect and the lungs now have a green grass effect healing process with it. Okay. So it's all connected that way. And again, how essential oils can affect your hormones. Again, you smell. It goes to your brain, and because of your spinal cord and nerve system, now it has direct access to your pineal gland, your hypothalamus, your pituitary, thi parathyroid, thyroid, thymus gland, adrenal glands, pancreas, ovaries, testes. So your brain, then your garden hose has access. And you can smell something like dog poop, and it can make all this sick. Or you can smell something good, like peace and calming, and it has a calming effect. It's, it's, that's how it both works. It's all connected scientifically. Okay? Now, safety pin cycle. This has been around since the early, early, early 1900s. So chiropractors used to explain chiropractic. The top of the safety pin is your brain. The bottom part is your body. And your brain talks to your body, tells your body to do stuff, and then the body says, yep, we're doing it. Smell, taste, touch. Yep, we're doing it, right? The problem is, is that dog poop comes along and it has a disconnecting effect on you. So now, when it's all connected, you have a green grass input and a green grass output. Remember that? If it gets disconnected, now it has a brown grass input and a brown grass output. Okay? So, getting adjusted can have a reconnection, reconnected, uh, bless, uh, uh, it can reconnect you. Okay? Trauma, toxins, stinking thinking, dog poop, stress, all has a disconnecting effect on you. And lots of times, your brain decides. Your brain decides. Some days I tell my wife, I love you, and that has a connecting effect. Sometimes I tell her, I love you, and she says, get away from me. It has a disconnecting effect. <laughs> she decides on what the I love you does, not me. So, why can some people be in a violent situation and stay connected? Because their brain was in control. Why do some people see something on TV and freak out and become disconnected? Again, the brain decides, right? You smell dog poop? Oh, that's no problem. Someone else smells it and they throw up. Why? Because their brain decides what gets connected. So it's all in your brain, okay? 
So when your brain's connected, then it makes health. I just cut myself. Believe that? Hang on a second. Sorry, cut the tape. <laughs> yeah, he's quick. Okay, my brain didn't freak out at blood. You might have. Okay. Workers' comp. No. So <laughs> that's connected and disconnected. I want you to learn anything tonight that what I'm going to teach you with these, what she's going to teach you about essential oils has a connecting effect because you're disconnected. Okay? So let's keep rolling. Now, what happens when you get disconnected? What happens when something, wow, holy smokes. What happens when <laughs> this happens, right? Can I get some more Kleenexes for my thumb, please? Yeah, I don't know. I don't have time for that. Just give me Kleenexes. What happens when you get disconnected? Okay, when you're over here. That's when you're physically, emotionally, mentally, spiritually start going into brown grass. That's what causes it, okay? It can be caused by... The birth trauma, slips, falls, accidents. So whatever your brain perceives as, oh no, I'm scared. And then that triggers what's called the reward efficiency cascade. So when you're disconnected, you have brown grass input and brown grass output. So now you have a reward efficiency cascade. When your brain perceives trouble, you will stop pursuing life, pleasure in life, work, play, food, and relationships. Because you're disconnected, your brain freaks out. So you stop having the party and you shut the party down. Which now weakens your immune system resistance, your reproduction system, your gut, your heart, and your lung expression. Okay? How many people in this world are disconnected right now? It's not COVID, it's bad. It's how many people are disconnected, it's bad. Okay? They're disconnected. That's what makes it even worse, right? Sorry, don't leave your tools over here. So the reward deficiency cascade, again, when you're disconnected, your brain perceives it, and now it starts turning, all kinds of things happen. Now that's when you get poor learning, poor memory, lack of focus, uncontrolled behavior. You feel weak. You feel pain. You feel depressed. Diana's going to talk about when you use some essential oils, it has a positive effect influence on your body. It has a positive influence on your immune system and your reproductive system and your gut and your heart and your lungs. It has a positive influence doesn't cure we're not treating that but when you smell it has a positive influence because it's reconnecting the safety pin she's going to tell you how some of the products have a positive influence on poor learning skills memory lack of focus uncontrolled behavior feeling of weakness pain and depression and being depressed because of how it closes the loop it, it takes the kink off the hose and allows you to go back to green grass does that make sense explain it differently right you just don't put it on your finger and say, oh, it's all better, right? So well, like with Margie, she, where's she at? Where's Margie? Margie came in and had something on her arm, right? I didn't know what it was. I'm like, all right, frankincense. Why? Because frankincense is like my shotgun, right? We put frankincense on it, and it didn't magically heal it. We put frankincense on it. The brain's like, oh, I can do something with that. Close the loop, and now it's been a couple, about a month or so, and her whatever it is, I don't care what it is. It's just getting better. Because her brain is healing it now, right? And who knows what she had gone to, but she, we basically, the, the brain closed the loop on the frankincense, and she started healing, right? So it works that way. Oh, sorry. Got to start all over again. Okay. It was brown grass. <laughs> no, seriously. Doesn't matter. It's, it's brown grass. That's not supposed to be there. See, we won't we wait and give it a name. Well, let's wait till it's really bad, and then we'll... No, no, no. We just, it's brown grass. I don't want it there. Put something on there. Don't make it any harder than that. And so here's the thing. When, you're, when your safety pin is closed, I'm sorry, when your safety pin is open, your brain gets freaked out and twisted. Now that increases your grumpy, pissed off, freaked out hormones, adrenaline, cortisol. They go out of control the wrong way. And your Dopamine, your serotonin, your oxytocin, your testosterone, your vasopressin, your happy hormones, they all get shut down. Brown grass. Okay? Now, <clears throat> that's what happens when you're disconnected. When you get reconnected, now you have a green grass zone input to a green grass zone output. So now you get reconnected. Okay? <laughs> Bad enough. I do a COVID talk and I start coughing. I do an essential talk, I cut my thumb, and now I'm bleeding. It's like I can't, you know, I can't, I can't win sometimes. It's all right. I, hey, I bleed for you guys. No. So when, once you get adjusted, or in this case, you smell or apply the oil in this time, that has a, it takes a kink off the hose. 
which now your body and brain can go back to green grass. Does this make sense so far? So now you change the input from brown grass to green grass zone input. So now you're going to get a green grass zone output. Margie's arm's healing, right? And now that turns on the brain reward cascade. When your brain perceives everything is okay, you smell, ah, oh, it's okay now. Now you pursue pleasure in life, work, play, and food and relationships. Now that has a healthy immune response, reproduction system, gut, heart, and lungs begin to heal. Because you took, you, you changed the, the programming, you changed the map, you changed the message, you changed the brain's perception. Does that make sense? And you use a smelly oil to do that. That's what makes it so crazy, right? Why we use it for our children and use it for raising children, kids. And well, I, I don't know what's wrong with it. Put some frankincense on it and see what happens. It goes away. That's my secret. Right? I know the brain knows. And if I can close this, here's the thing. I know the brain knows. And if it's like this, I know if I close the loop, the brain knows it's more than worthy to, to, to figure out and fix it no matter. You know, and I don't have to know the name of it. Right? And then you're able to learn, sharp memory, clear focus, controlled behavior, feel strong, feel good, feel happy. That's what green grass life is all about. That's why we adjust our patients, and then we do what we can to protect the connection, protect the adjustment, and we use the essential oils for that when necessary. Or we protect it by you using the cleaning supplies so you don't put toxins back into your body and, and make you become disconnected again, right? Things you see on TV and you use them can have a disconnecting effect. I want everything you do to have a reconnecting effect or to protect the connection so that you can stay healthy and strong. So when you get reconnected, you get back to green grass, that balances your adrenaline cortisol. So now you go to rest and digest. It shuts off the bear chasing hormones, and now you begin to heal. And your happy hormones kick in. Your dopamine, your serotonin, your oxytocin, serotonin base. That's how it works. That's how it works. So that's what happens when you get back to green grass, okay? And green grass zone influence on the body. So your nerve impulses get better. Your cells begin to work better. Your blood vessels work better. Your hormones work better. Your organs work better. Your immune system works better. Green grass. Reproductive system is green grass. Your gut system, your heart and lungs, your vagus nerve, your muscles, your behavior, reaction, all goes to green grass. That's what we're trying to do. It's not take this and, and, and heal your hormones. No, 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 no. It's use this to take the kink off the hose your, so your brain perceives a better perception of you and it will go do the healing. Just keep smelling, keep using, keep applying it. Does that make sense? You're using it for different reasons. And again, that's our oldest. He's 31 now. Did really good. That's the rest of our children there. Doesn't grow facial hair. Sorry, I can't say anything about that. That's our family. It works. It works. So the key is, is that once you get reconnected, then you have to protect your connection. So work on using chiropractic, use the essential oils to get connected, but then you have to protect, protect your connection. When? The minute you wake up. Because the whole world out there is all set up to disconnect you. So when she explains everything, it's like, why do you need all that stuff? Because you're using things out there that have a disconnecting effect on you. They have a toxic effect on you. She's going to show you what to smell and what to use and what to rub and how to clean that, ha that guards against something disconnecting you because it's toxic. So all the ingredients are safe. Everything is strong and has a reconnecting effect. If anybody here is not a new patient yet, basically see me afterwards. We can talk about that. But right now, I just want to introduce Miss Diana Davis with Young Living Oils. She's going to take over the rest and explain it to her, to you, and I'll be around. All right, so everybody give Miss Diana a hand. Woo! Thank you. Okay, so uh, these are my cheat notes. All right, because there's a lot of things, and I don't want to skip anything uh, because getting you all together is exciting for me. So I want to explain how I first got here. When I was 65, a long time ago, uh, my husband and I were both very overweight. Our health was not good. We were getting concerned. We do ministry, and we were to the point where we thought we might have to retire. And that was just not a thought that really anything that we wanted to do. So I happened to mention to a friend of mine who also goes to our church, 
that we were looking at, maybe if we lost some weight, we'd feel better. And she said, oh, oh, my doctor is putting on a, uh, a workshop and it's free and you should come. Well, it's January. I'm like, yeah, okay. Everybody starts a diet in January, right? That's what we most do. So we went. And I was impressed. I got way more than I thought I was going to get. I thought I was going to get a new diet. I got a whole new way of living, a whole new way of thinking about life. And I got very excited about it. So my husband and I decided, okay, we're going to give this guy a shot. I have never had a doctor lay his hands on me and pray on me before he did something. I'm impressed, okay? Uh, I've never had a, a doctor not nickel and dime us to death. Oh, here, I'm going to give you this. Okay, that'll be $25, and I'll give you that. That's $35, and I, okay, he doesn't do that. He cares about his patients, and he does whatever he can to get us as healthy as we're willing to take the responsibility to do ourselves. And that's awesome. And it's very, very hard to find. I have gone to chiropractors since I was 15 years old. I'm 72. I've seen a lot of chiropractors in my day. All right? But nobody like him. So I'm here because we really, truly believe in what Dr. Joe is teaching. And when he says he wants to stop unnecessary suffering, we were suffering. So in the last seven years that we've been coming... My husband has lost 104 pounds. He's two inches taller than he was, not because he grew, because he's standing up straight. I've lost 35 pounds and kept most of it off. Um, I'm back to being able to walk. I jog a little. I'm excited. I feel like I'm a little healthier than most of my kids who are in their late 40s and early 50s. Okay, and she's nodding her head because she <laughs> knows my kids. Okay. So I just wanted to let you know that we've been coming for a long time and we have a lot of respect for what Dr. Joe has been teaching us. But I have to tell you, I'm going to get my water real quick. Sorry. Dry mouth. I was a bit overwhelmed. And the reason I was overwhelmed was because we not only had to, I thought, just diet. It's not just diet. It's the spinal cord. It's the diet. It's your thinking. It's exercise. Uh, we were taking tons of supplements, but those weren't the right supplements for us, and we didn't know that. You know how you get online and they make you think, oh, you need this or you need that, and the next thing you know, you're just buying a whole bunch of stuff? We had a whole bunch of things that weren't doing us any good at all. So we had to do things a little at a time. So what wound up happening was, Dr. Joe had a little talk with us, and he said, Diana, don't get so just jumping with both feet, 47 different things to do and trying to get it all done, because you'll wear yourself out. So I approach essential oils the same way I approach what Dr. Joe taught us. Do one thing at a time. So rather than take everything out of my diet, I replaced something. So the first week, we decided we were going to commit to coming in three times a week to get taken care of because our spines were a mess because we hadn't paid attention to our lifestyle. The next week, I took canola oil out of my diet and I replaced it with coconut oil. And the week after that, I took milk chocolate. <sighs> this was hard. And, and exchanged it for dark chocolate. And, uh, and then I began doing little things, uh, the peanut butter that had all the sugar in it, you know, oh, that stuff is so good because I grew up with peanut butter and jelly sandwiches. So when I need something to make me feel better, a peanut butter and jelly sandwich will do it. Well, now I do almond butter and doesn't have all the added sugar in it. So little by little by little, we made changes in our life. And what happened was we began to feel better. We began, I began to go up and down the stairs when I wasn't huffing and puffing because when we watch our TV, it's downstairs. There's 12 steps to go up, 12 steps to go down. And I was doing it three or four times a night. So we decided we have a bathroom downstairs. What if we make ourselves go upstairs to go to the bathroom? We're putting in extra trips up and down the stairs. And pretty soon I wasn't huffing and puffing anymore. 
pretty soon I could go out and walk around the block and I was feeling better. So not only, it isn't about how much I weigh, it's about how I feel and my quality of life. So I let myself off the hook, not worrying about how many pounds I weigh or how many inches I've lost, but how I'm feeling. And Dr. Joe walked us through everything. He took us to the store and showed us how not to buy the bad stuff, what to replace that with. So over the seven year period, we've made a lot of changes. We're not anywhere near where we were. But when I'm approaching and listening to and coming back to essential oils, I've used essential oils for 16 years. But sometimes you get busy and then you forget and then I forget to order or whatever. And so I would get off and do my thing and then went, oh, and the little, little things started coming back. So two and a half years ago, uh, one of Dr. Jill's patients came to our little church and we got to talking and she talked me into coming back and using the oils again. And it didn't take long, less than 30 days before I went, why did I ever stop doing this? I, I can really feel a difference. So rather than trying to do everything all at once, I want to talk to you about making some smaller steps. Okay? So there's 185 plus oils. That's a lot. That's overwhelming. So what I did was I decided I would, I would start with those that would make me feel a little better each day. So when I get up in the morning, um, I use my Lang Lang. Instead of using perfume, which was because I used to get uh, bronchitis three, four times a year. Now I use Lang Lang. It's a very, I love it. It has a lot of medicinal properties, but I use it because I like the smell of it. And it makes me relax in the morning. Kind of wake up, but a little relaxed. And then I'll do something else, and I'll have a little peppermint. And then later in the day, I'll do something else. So I want to give you some little hints. If you are taking a, a drive, and you're on vacation, and you, you just have to get to this next little stop, and you're getting just a little tired, that's not a good place to be. So I keep oils. I have a fanny pack, and I keep my oils on my fanny pack. And I'll take out the peppermint and I'll put it right on the back of my neck. And what it does, and then just take a couple deep breaths and it wakes you up. It's a little much harder to fall asleep or to drowse off if you're smelling peppermint. Okay? So there's a lot of little things that you can do. Um, I want my legacy in life to be that I helped people with my knowledge. So as far as I'm concerned, I don't sell oils. I share stories. I listen to what people say, and then if I have an oil for that, I let them know that. We just share stories. You would recommend a good dog food to somebody that has a dog that you really like, right? So all I'm doing is recommending things that I know that work for me. Um, I want to give you a little disclaimer. I'm not the doctor. I think you figured that out. Dr. Joe is. I don't diagnose anybody. I don't treat anybody. Um, I'm not trying to re replace any medications or anything. That's not my job. I am here to assist Dr. Joe in helping him build his oil business for his people. You are his people, okay? So whenever you need to know something, if you'll contact me, because Jesse's really busy taking care of all of that back there for us and making sure that all the supplements are ordered and everybody has their appointments and stuff, and he has his hands full. And Dr. Joe has honed his medical skills for our benefit, and that's where he needs to spend his time. So I want to walk in and be able to help you do this. But everything goes through him. And here's a little reason why. I told you I put my oils in my fanny pack. So the first mission trip my husband and I took, I couldn't take all my oils with me that I use on a daily basis. So I put as many in my little fanny pack as I could, and I took my fanny pack with me. And I wore it. So we ride motorcycles, so wearing fanny packs seems to be a lot of people do that. But I seemed agitated a little bit while I was on the trip. So I came in and I saw Dr. Joe, and he said, how'd the trip go? And I went, well, it was good, but I just feel like I've drank about 20 cups of coffee, and I can't seem to calm down, and I'm not sure what's going on. And and uh, he said, uh, yeah. 
how many oils are you using? Because he knew I'd gotten involved with it. So I brought my little fanny pack over and I took all my oils out. And he's like, oh, okay. And he tested me on them, the muscle testing that he does. And there was one oil I thought I needed, but it did not need me. My body didn't need it. And that's what was causing the problem. And I took that oil out of my fanny pack and I put it over here. And before the end of the day, I was calm and I was green grass again. And I wasn't, the bear wasn't chasing me all day long. So that's why I say he needs to be able to muscle test you for what your body might be needing. But there are some oils that you can enjoy. Lemon oil, for an example. Um, I don't particularly like the taste of chlorine in water when I go to a restaurant. I also do not know how they've taken care of those lemons that they want to put in your water. Uh, they're probably not organic because most restaurants want to run on profit. So uh, I take my oil. I'll put a couple drops of my lemon oil or lime oil or tangerine or grapefruit. They have lots of different varieties. All right. And I stir it up and then I do that. So I don't have to worry about who's been touching whatever is going to go into my water. And I don't have to worry so much about the chlorine that's in the water. At least I don't have to taste it. Does that make sense? Okay. So essential oils have been used since biblical times. Um, and I'm going to read a little bit of this because uh, I find it fascinating. My particular expertise that I like to do is uh, chemical free living and the biblical oils of the Bible. I love doing those classes because I get to talk about scripture and God and all kinds of cool things. So uh, biblical oils have been used since biblical times by ancient civilizations uh, to help bodies overcome health issues, to relax when they were stressed, to enhance concentration, moods, sleep. They were treatments for humans and for animals. By the way, we have oils that will help you cut your vet bills if you know how to use them. And there's a book that teaches you how to use it. Um, the essential oil reference guides uh, that I just mentioned are great. There's one for animals and for people. And, uh, you know, the doctors use those just like they use a, a book for medications or supplements or anything else, tinctures, all kinds of things, all right? Historically, the Greek physician Hippocrates listed hundreds and hundreds of things that he did for his patients. And his, his book and all of the lists that he has are still used in ancient uh, medications today. The Egyptians used oils and herbs and tinctures. The Chinese physician, physicians used herbs and oils and acupuncture and massage. There was a Hungarian physician that all he did was he talked to people, to the to other doctors that he was with, and he convinced them that washing their hands between patients would stop the spread of disease and lower the mortality rate, and by golly, it worked. Sometimes it's the simple things that really make a difference. So I want to share a little ancient history with you because that's part of what I love to do. So the Roman gladiators back in biblical days, um, they would prepare themselves to go to battle. But remember now, they battled to the death. So if there were two of them going out there, one of them wasn't going to come back. Now that has to affect you up here as you're preparing to go out, right? So they had special equipment and they trained and they learned how to use uh, to their skill, their swords and the, all those things that they would swing around. And so they knew what they were doing. If you get a little cut, a little paper cut, and I'm typing or I'm doing something, that paper cut is, is distracting. Well, the gladiators couldn't afford to be distracted. So what would happen is the farmers knew what the, the herb dill would do. See, we just think of dill pickles. But it's way better than that. They grew fields and fields of dill, and they would load up their donkeys, and they would bring it in, and they would sell the dill to the gladiators by the bushel. And they would take the, and they would rub it really, really briskly. 
and they would rub it all over their arms, their chest, and their legs. And then they would stomp on it with their feet like this because it had a numbing effect. So if they got nicked with a sword, they wouldn't feel it as much and they're not distracted so they could stay focused on the enemy because it could save their life. It also calmed them down so they would breathe it in, sniff it in. And what did Dr. Joe tell us? Our nose talks to our brain, right? Well, they even knew that back then. So they've been used for a lot of different things. And the Dill story is one of my favorites. So uh, part of uh, Young Living, and the reason that I like the company very much, is because they have what they call a seed to seal promise. As far as I know, it's the only company that does. Everybody has their own, whatever they're going to do, okay? But this is seed to seal. And you're going to find some of this. I wrote some of it down and I gave it to you because I'm going to load a lot of information. And I want you to be able to refer back to it, okay? The seed to seal promise basically says that from the ground that they put the seed into and the seed and the, uh, they don't use pesticides, they don't use chemicals, uh, everything to take care of bugs or diseases or whatever, everything is organically done all the way to the machinery and stuff that they use to harvest it and to bottle it. Young Living has several of their own farms, but they also partner with farms around the world. And the reason is because finding virgin, chemical-free land in the United States is getting harder and harder to find. So they get as close to where they're going to grow whatever crop it is, and then they grow it and process it there, and then bring it here. Now, they also go through, each product goes through 15 different tests before it's allowed to be bottled. So if there's anything in that batch that doesn't work out, they don't use it. They sell it to other oil companies for them to process, and then you buy it. So I know that what they're doing with their standards, I'm willing to put that on my skin. I'm willing to put it in my body. I'm willing to smell it because that's going to go into my lungs. That's going to go from my nose to my brain. And I want to know that I'm not putting harsh chemicals in my body. Does that make sense? Okay. So we have a line of oils called Vitality. Those Vitality oils have been approved by the Food and Drug Administration for internal use. So when I found that out, and I was going through my cupboards one day, and I realized a lot of my herbs were like, a year old, year and a half old, because they haven't used them very often. They're not really very fresh anymore, so I don't really taste all that good. Um, I started replacing my herbs with oils. And I'll show you that. I have a whole, kicking, a whole crew over here. And I do a class on cooking with oils. Because as Dr. Joe is showing us how to change our diets, it suddenly made sense to change everything that I was doing about my diet. So since we have over 185 different oils and blends, I want to talk to you a little bit about what, those, what to do with those. Each one of them has its own fragrance, its own medicinal properties, its own frequency. There's an electrical frequency, just like our body has one. The oils have one. It has its own purpose, and it has a signature. Our oils come in 5 millimeter and 15 millimeter bottles. The small five millimeter have 80 drops in each one. One drop is considered a serving. If you use two or three, you really have to like use a half a bottle if you want to overdose, but you're not going to real overdose. All you're going to do is um, maybe get a little tired or get a little hyper. Okay. But um, so it, there's 80 drops to a bottle. In the 15 millimeter, there's 250 drops to a bottle. So I want to make sure that I'm getting the best quality and that I'm getting the best, for my, best bang for my buck, okay? You can use the single oils alone or you can layer them. So if you're going to layer them, let's say if I have a, a sore muscle from working out, 
I can layer one oil and then layer another oil on top of it. And uh, copaiba, by the way, is a wonderful oil for um, if you have muscles, sore muscles in that, but it also enhances any other oil that you layer it with. So there's a lot of nuances, okay? However, there are blends. If it's a blend, you do not want to use a blend with a blend because every oil and every blend has been made for a specific purpose. And I'm not a scientist and I don't understand all that stuff. I know that uh, when they do the blends, they're scientifically put together. They have special purposes. They have to balance all these long words. Sequesterpenes, cleansing agents, digestive age. Oh, that's for cleansing, digestive, circulation, skin, and emotions. You have this in your packet. Monopenes, that's for cleansing, antioxidants, promoting, repelling, and stimulating your cognitive health. However, they use aromatics, they use constituents, they use compounds, they use, uh, oh, here we go. Mm. pH adjusters, buffering agents, foam boosters, endocrine disruptors, surfacant agents, ion exchangers, water softening agents, there's a lot of stuff in a lot of oils out there. We don't use any of those. So if you have a product and you like foam, like I like my dish soap to have foam so it kind of feels like it's doing something. But the dish soap that they have doesn't foam. So you know what I did? I went and got me a little bottle. And I put my dishwashing soap in it. And I push and it foams but it doesn't have any of the chemicals in it that are bad for you, okay? So if you have little nuances that are important to you, was important to me, there's an answer for it. I just wanna feel really, really safe about the stuff that I'm using. So Dr. Joe stole my, my dog poop story. <laughs> that was my daughter. So I went over to explain to her that I'd gone back to the essential oils and I wanted uh, to give her some essential oils to use. And her dog was sick that day. And it was vomiting and it was pooping. And every time she went in to clean it, I could hear her gagging in the other room. And she came in and she sat down. She was so exhausted. And I said, here, smell this. It'll make you feel better. Oh, mom, smelling something can't do anything for me. <laughs> uh, just try it. And she did. And she went, oh. Oh, it made that awful smell go away. And I said, yes, because your nose talks to your brain. So it took a little while, and pretty soon she decided she liked the cleaning products that we had because it got rid of all those smells. Because, you know, whenever you have animals, we ha my husband rescues cats. Believe me, we, the cat smells before. You could walk in the house and you could smell it. Now it's not as bad because I use the these all the time. So what I want to do here is I'm going to... Uh, Sue, would you help me, please? Here we go. All right, so what I want you to do is go to each row and just hand one bottle to each row. Okay. And I'm going to hold on to this one. Okay, so we're going to learn how to smell the oils. And as you're smelling those oils, I'm going to explain a little bit about what each one of those does. So we're gonna start just at the end and we're gonna pass the oil down when you're done. So here's what we're gonna do. See if I can sit this pocket. down. You know, that pocket, it'll fit in your back pocket. Yeah, you I just don't wanna to touch the... Okay. That'll be all right. I'll just leave it there. Okay, so you're gonna take the, this off and you're gonna start at your stomach. Oh, I'm right-handed, so I'm gonna do it this way. Start at your stomach and you're gonna go clockwise. So when I look down, I'm going to go the same way the clock would go. And you're going to bring it up slowly as you're kind of taking a breath. Now, don't let it touch your nose, but what you want to do is you want to close one nostril and smell it. Okay. Now, do the other nostril because they don't, it doesn't smell the same in both. So it sends a different signal to your brain. Now smell it together. And when you do, you'll get a, a, a more full flavor of what's going on. So then you put this on. 
and you're going to pass it to the next person because you don't want to get these mixed up because you'll contaminate your oils. And it's preferred that you don't touch. So drop it on your finger or drop it in your hand or wherever you're going to use it. Try not to put your finger on it because you can contaminate your oils when you go from bottle to bottle to bottle. Does that make sense? Okay, so just clockwise all the way up and smell one and then take a smell the other one. It's okay to smell a couple, three times. It's fine. It was just that this one was a lot stronger and this one almost had like a little... See, because, you be, because your nostrils don't smell the very same way. They're different. That's why when you smell it after you've smelled each one, you actually get the full effect of the oil. Okay? So now, if I can find my notes again. It smells are free, yes. <laughs> All right. So who has, the, who has the thieves? The back row? All right. So the thieves helps your immune system. Doesn't care anything. Remember, it just helps. It's stimulating. Um, so what I want to, how many of you have to wear masks at work? Okay. If you have to wear a mask at work, I would get the thieves and I would put a drop of the thieves on your mask in the morning when you go to work and then after lunch. And then when you take it off at home, I would put some in your hand and smell it because thieves tends to stimulate your immune system to build it up. And you've been breathing in that mask all day long. So what you're trying to do is to counteract the fact that you're breathing your old air. Does that make sense? All right. Who's got the peppermint? Okay, that's the front row. So peppermint helps keep you awake. And just so you know, it also deters ants and mice and spiders. So in the fall, when the insects are looking for a nice place to spend the, the winter, just take some cotton balls and put some peppermint on it and put them all around where, where they might try to enter in, and they won't come in. You won't have a problem anymore. Yes, ma'am. It helps with hot flashes. <laughs> <laughs> it helps with hot flashes. Okay. All right. Uh, I had the frankincense. So that is an immune stimulant, and it calms you and allows you to focus. So if you have like a test coming up or you have an important presentation, I use the, the frankincense to help focus my mind on what it is that I'm doing. All right. Who has the lavender? This row here, okay. Lavender is great for meditation. It's a wonderful beauty routine. If you burn yourself, in fact, there was a, a scientist that got burned really, really bad uh, doing an experiment. And he, he put lavender on the burn. It was a really, really bad burn. And, uh, and it helped a lot. So lavender is really, really good for that. Yes, it's wonderful for bruises. And uh, who's got the stress away then? Oh, uh, Frankie, you, yes, you just love that, okay. So Frank, uh, uh, I'm sorry, stress away relieves stress and encourages relaxation. So what did Dr. Joe say we needed to do? Not let the bear chase us. We need to relax, we need to be able to digest our food, we need to be able to get good rest. All right, so that a lot of these will help with that. Um, in the pack, in, uh, I have it sitting over there. I'll, when you come up later, we can talk about it. Uh, it has thieves. It has lemon. It has peppermint. It has frankincense. It has lavender. It has stress away. It has pan away. Pan away soothes. And I'm telling you, when I get a tension headache, uh, sometimes you, you just don't, you can't do certain things. So I'll take a little drop of it on both of my thumbs and I'll rub them like this because your thumbs and your big toes are connected to your brain, which is where most of your headaches come from. Is that cool? Uh, digize, which helps improve digestion, or if you went out and you ate something that's just not quite agreeing with you, it just really helps. And then um, I don't have to take all the tums because I was eating gobs and gobs of them. Copaiba enhances other oils and relieves muscle aches. Raven aids in deep breathing. 
So when I wear those masks and I go grocery shopping, by the time I get out of the, the uh, store, whew, I just need to get it off. I have Raven or RC with me and I use it one, two, three, because it clears my nose up really, really, really quick. Makes it much easier because when I'm breathing through that mask, I'm a mouth breather anyway, but my, my nose just gets very stopped up in there. And then they have Citrus Fresh. Citrus Fresh is kind of a combination of a lot of the different uh, citrus oils. So you can put that in your water. So it's like tangerine and lemon and lot. It's just, I love it. It's very, very good taste. Okay, so those are the things that are included on that. By the way, I had a lady that went, uh, I was, I had a booth at a dog show. And this lady kept, she was sneezing, sneezing, sneezing. And she came over to my booth and she said, do you have any uh, lavender, peppermint, and, uh, thank you, lemon. And I said, yeah, but I don't have any oils here for sale. She said, no, I, I just need to borrow a couple. So I let her have it. And so she put some lemon on the back of her neck. And then she put the peppermint on the back of her neck. And then she put the lavender on the back of her neck. And I said, what are you doing? And she said, oh, I forgot my oils. And I left them at home. And, and I'm sneezing so much. And she said, there's certain pet dander that make me sneeze. And she said, I'll be fine now. Thank you. And she walked off. I had no clue. There are a lot of people out there that, know, that use them for lots of different things. Might work for her, might not work for me. Our bodies are all different, but they were all created by God to heal itself without interference. And we have a lot of interference out here. So these oils are a tool for you to use in your health box. So what I'm going to do now is you have charts in your little handouts that we gave you. And I'm going to tell you all the different ways that you can use these oils. Aromatherapy, you would place it in a diffuser. We have diffusers. Dr. Joe has his diffuser that he uses all the time. Whenever you come in here, he's always got something different in it. You place a few drops in the diffuser and it allows the oils to spread throughout the air. Direct application is where you actually can put it directly on your body. Okay. Um, I place most of my oils on my feet because when you place the oils on your feet, there's something about that particular part of your body and the, the, the circulation, but the product itself, the oil, gets through your body much faster. What was the word? Absorbed. Yes, it absorbs much faster and gets through your body much faster than it does if you put it like on your wrist or something. So I put a lot of it on my, on my uh, feet. Also, you can put it in your hands, cup them, rub them together, then breathe deeply. Um, you can put it behind your ears or on your neck. If you have itchy skin, take a little bit of peppermint and put it right here on your ear. I thought, oh, that just sounds so silly, but it works. All right, Vitaflex points. That's what your little charts are about. So, yep, right here. So you have a foot and hand chart, and it tells you how your feet and your hands are connected to the rest of your body, just like your spine is connected to everything in your body. There's a thing called raindrop therapy. Not many massage therapists know about it, but I guarantee you it's absolutely wonderful. It is a massage technique used for specific oils and to help stimulate the immune system. So if you're getting ready to go in for surgery or you're recovering from surgery or you've been sick for a while, and you have that done, I'm telling you, it makes a huge difference. Um, you, you can get better much faster. Uh, compresses, you can add oil to a hot or a cold towel compress. You can use it for perfume. I like Lang Lang. Uh, bath, you can drop uh, one to four uh, drops in your, uh, you wanna make sure though you're not using a hot oil. So a hot oil is where the lid to your bottle is much larger than this. It's called a safety cap, and it's there for a reason, because it's considered a warm oil, a hot oil, which means that if you, if you don't use a carrier oil with it, you can burn your skin, depending upon how sensitive your skin is. So you want to be very careful with that. Uh, I put in my dishwasher. Every time, well, once in a while, I'll put some purification in my dishwasher, because every once in a while, have you ever noticed, in, sometimes it just has a little funny smell to it or something? 
gets rid of everything. I use it in my uh, clothes washer, my dryer, and that reminds me. How many drops does a big bottle hold? Hmm? You said 280? Yeah, I did. 250. <laughs> all right. Ah, 250. Here we go. Those Thank are you. all wool dryer balls. Oh, awesome. All right. So you have a right here, right? Can I just borrow yeah, this for a second? Yeah, you certainly can. All right. So the benefits of using dry wool dryer balls. They decrease the drying time and they save you money on your utility bills. The commercial fabric softeners and dryer sheets are filled with harmful chemicals and perfumes that coat your clothing and eventually end up on your skin. There are no chemicals in the dryer balls. Commercial dryer sheets can be costly and they're thrown away normally after one use. The dryer balls can be used over and over. Some of mine are three years old. Okay. Commercial fabric softeners shouldn't be used on cloth diapers. Wool dryers are perfect for keep, keeping your cloth drivers, dry, uh, diapers sorry, soft and chemical free. Wool dryer balls won't affect the absorbency of your towels, but the commercial drying agents do. So if you want your towels to absorb better, use the dryer balls. Um, they increase fluffiness, they reduce static, they help soften clothes, and they're made from a renewable source. And what I do is I take my favorite oil, and I drop it on my dryer balls, and I put it in the dryer, and it takes a lot less time for your stuff to dry. I don't have all the chemicals. I don't need the sheets anymore, right? And my clothes come out smelling really good. Okay. Young Living sells them. Young Living sells them, absolutely. Okay, I use them for cooking. I use my essential oils for cooking all the time. Also, I use them for cleaning. So when Dr. Joe was talking, he had a, a workshop and he was talking about making your uh, house chemical free. Oh, that just sounded like a big job. <laughs> but what I found is with our cleaning kit, I got rid of 98% of the stuff that was in my house. That means I'm not buying oven cleaner, I'm not buying window cleaner, I'm not buying tile cleaner. All those different things that they try to sell you with all those chemicals in them, they're not in my house anymore. In fact, I'm gonna tell you what I did because I thought it was pretty funny. I put them all in a big box and I took them down to our church. And I told the ladies, I said, if you wanna use any of these, you can have them because I don't want them anymore. <laughs> well, wait a minute, why are you getting rid of them? Aren't you going to use them? No, I don't use them anymore. I'm chemical free. Well, why are you, why are you bringing them to us? You, and I said, I'm not. I don't really want you to use them. I want you to think about it. I'm offering you free products. But now that you're aware that there's a lot of chemicals in them and they're not good for you, are you going to use them? <laughs> and very few people took anything. And I was really proud of them for figuring that part out. So, and the last little thing I want to talk about is uh, car and room deodorizers. Uh, there's uh, plug-in things, there's things you can hang, there's uh, stuff that you can put in your car. Uh, and believe me, they use fake fragrances most of the time, and they have a lot of harsh chemicals. So I did something kind of cute, and I can't remember exactly where I put it, but I will find it and show it to you in a little bit. So I just took some regular cardboard, and my grandchildren colored on them. And they made little flowers and all kinds of cool things. And then we put a little hole in it. And I put some string in it. And then they get to pick what they want on theirs. So now I have, we can put it in the car. They can hang it on their bed. So if we use uh, Calm, Peace and Calming, they go to sleep a little easier. Okay, there are oils specifically for children. There are oils specifically for babies. There are oils for your pets. It's a huge array. So when you're interested in something or you want to try something, give me a call, I'll get together with you, and we'll confer about what to do and how to do it. 
Dr. Joe needs to test you before you don't, don't try to self-diagnose yourself, okay? Believe me, it costs you a small fortune. When we were taking all of those vitamins and minerals and supplements, and then we came and got muscle tested, he saved us several hundred dollars. I was spending probably $400 a month on supplements because we were worried about our health, and we were trying to do the best we could. And now we don't have to do that. I get my supplements right here. I know exactly what I'm getting, and I know what my body needs, okay? Um, so the last thing I wanted to let you know um, is there's uh, three ways to, to get the products, and that's what we're trying to introduce here to Dr. Joe's business. The first one is retail, and that's fine, and you all can buy whatever you want, all right? But Dr. Joe is busy taking care of us, and Jesse's busy taking care of back here, so that's where I come in. So if you're interested in oils, I need your name and your phone number and what you're interested in, and I will call and make an appointment with you, or I'll meet you here however you want to do that. If you buy retail, I'll go ahead and make sure we order everything. It'll come in here, you'll pick it up here, and you'll pay for it here. Okay? So you don't have to worry about it. If, however, you would like to do wholesale, and I personally don't like to pay retail for anything. <laughs> um, how many of you belong to either Sam's Club or Costco? Okay, so Sam's Club and Costco, they charge you $35, $45 a year, all right, for the privilege of buying their products. And I belong to both. Young Living has a deal where for $35, a one-time fee, as long as you buy $50 worth of product a year, a month, a year, um, that lasts you forever. You can buy all of their products at 24% off. And tonight, anybody who wants to do that, you see me, we'll get you signed up for it, and Dr. Joe will give you an extra an, a free bottle of Thieves, okay, the oil Thieves, if you do that. Because you're saving money, you're building the business, but you're beginning to use the oils to understand how they're going to be able to help you. All right, and then the third way is if you want to do, you don't have to do what I'm doing, because standing up here can be scary. Um, but if you decide that you want to make a little extra on the side, you refer people, and uh, you buy a kit, and I'll show you how to do whatever you need to do. That's what I'm here for. That's part of my statement that I made in the beginning. I like to help people get where they want to go, how they want to get there. All right, and I can help you build the business. Right now, the people that I have in my team alone pay for all the products that my husband and I want to use, the products that I give away to parts of my family, and I still am able to make double payments on my car, and it's almost paid off. So uh, those are your three choices. Retail, wholesale. If you do wholesale tonight, you get a free of uh, fees to go with it and and then you could buy the kit and if that's something you want to do i want to sit down with you talk with you let you know what's in the kit how to use the oils that kind of thing it's not just a here and go it's about teaching you how to use them in your life and uh make your life better yes Yes, the wholesale package is not just the privilege of being able to buy wholesale. You actually get a small stress away. So those of you that smelled the stress away, that comes with it. And Frank, uh, Frankie just got his. So, okay. You, oh, yeah. <laughs> okay. So uh, that's what I have for you. Let's give Diana a hand. Thank you. Yeah.